And welcome back. Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's on your mind today? Hey, Tom, I have some comments on threats to democracy in our country, but I just want to thank you for the information you reported of the Medicare Advantage scams. Because mm -hmm. I've heard some stories here in Seattle myself about false information being given by sales agents. And then the information you shared about major corporations making huge profits by taking advantage of inflation rates, both of those stories are so important, and they clearly point out the corruption that plagues our country. And I, I just really want to thank you for educating people on that, because the corporate media is not doing a good, a good job of covering those stories. So thanks so much. Thank You're you welcome. for that. As far as election reform, the group that I work with, Democracy Watch News, where I'm executive director, is currently focusing on these issues threatening democracy. And I want to encourage people to check out our Twitter Spaces events where we bring in journalists from all over the world talking about this and also our podcast called Democracy Cast, which you can hear on any major podcast provider. But one, vote suppression in states like Georgia, and thanks to Greg Powell for his excellent work on that. Two, gerrymandering, which is another direct attempt to control elections. Three, billionaires and PACs attempting to buy elections through million-dollar misleading negative ad campaigns. And until we can establish public financing for elections and serious limits to the amount of money that can be spent, our, our democracy is going to continue to deteriorate. In response to your caller about the vice president, I did cover Vice President Kamala Harris's visit to Seattle a couple of weeks ago, and she was here to highlight the granting of 2,500 electric school buses via the bipartisan infrastructure bill. And she was also, um, these are being given to public schools around the country. She's mm -hmm. also campaigning for Senator Patty Murray, of course, against the MAGA candidate, uh, Tiffany Smiley, who's been gaining in the polls. But I really want to alert mail-in voters in states on the West Coast, including my state of Washington, mail in your ballot today. Do not yeah. pass go, do not collect $200, do not wait till tomorrow. It's most likely that your mail-in ballot will not be postmarked in time if you wait until election day. So yeah, don't option. don't trust Louis DeJoy. <laughs> in fact, You're take right. it to a Dropbox today if you can. Yes, exactly. I, I know you have a lot of listeners in Seattle and Martin Luther King Jr. County, and the best way to make sure your vote is counted is to drop it off at a Dropbox, at a, at a designated Dropbox. You can get that information from the King County Elections Commission and um, places uh, in the state where you can do that. Please do that. Please drop off your your ballot to make sure it gets counted. And finally, Tom, democracy requires participation. We can beat these billionaires if enough people actually vote and show up at the polls. So get out there and do it. And as you always say, tag, you're it. Yeah, it's really our only option, Mark. How, you know, how, how are things looking in, in the Seattle area? Well, we have instant runoff voting and ranked choice voting here in Seattle as a, as a people's initiative. So we may be able to push It's an initiative on the ballot? Yeah, it's here in Seattle, and also ranked choice voting uh, through fairvote.org um, is also, that's the website, is also being offered in several counties in Washington yeah. State. So we're it's trying to... It's here in Portland, too. Good, good. That's good to hear, because I think it is time to, to open the doors to democracy and try these new ideas, because what we got right now isn't working so well. And, uh, yeah, I think also, you know, Patty Murray is really close with Tiffany Smiley, but I'm hoping that she can pull it out, because... Oh, man, we do not want to lose Patty Murray in the United States Senate. Believe me, yeah, I'm she's done great work for Washington State. She really yep. has. Yep. Mark Taylor Canfield. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Tom. Keep up the good work. Yep. Love it. Great talking with you. We'll be right back. It's 48 minutes past the hour. I have a new book out. It's called The Hidden History of Neoliberalism, How Reaganism Gutted America and How to Restore Its Greatness. Greg Pallas calls it a hand grenade of a book. You can pick it up wherever fine books are available. Tag, you're it. It's